uh, approximately five and a half days older than Adam. I say it that way deliberately because you see you can't avoid this issue without getting into the days of creation and when was Adam made. You can't avoid the issue of when was Adam made if you, if you really want to deal with how many people there are on planet Earth. If you plot up the population of planet Earth, you'll find a very interesting phenomena because biologists have been fascinated by this forever. I remember doing it in third year genetics at Queensland University and the professor said we have a little problem. You see, we know the multiplication rate. We know the death rate. 400 years, everybody on this planet is going to have one square meter to stand on and will really need good deodorant. Right, so you'll find that he was predicting a terrible end by biological overgrowth and use of and, 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 and abuse, right? And then he pointed out a problem. He said, however, if we follow the data back, and remember, they took census in Babylon. They took census in Israel. We have population data for thousands of years, right? And you've plot it back. And the funniest thing is you run out of people about four to four and a half thousand years ago. Now that doesn't surprise me because I'm pretty sure there was a boat with eight of them on it and that was the big, big break. Now you deal with the age of the earth, go back to Adam and Adam was literal, Adam was real and the evidence of those days, well, what does the Bible say about the first day? This is the day the Lord has made and he's never made another one since. So you can even probably add them up from then to now and realize the world is not billions of days old, not even perhaps millions of days old. Uh, get about four to five thousand years back to the flood and there a couple of thousand years back to Adam.